Hi guys, so I think I'm going to be doing like, along with like updates with Accutane, instead of like a monthly products video, I think I'm going to do just a weekly thing because while I'm on, you know, the Accutane, um, my skin's going to be changing constantly. It's going to, you know, it's going to start getting dry and then I'm going to find stuff that works for dry skin and then, you know, my coloring's going to change as the um, months get, you know, colder and the sun is out less. And so I figured, like, since we're transitioning into this time of my life and this time of the year, um, I figured it would be best to just do, like, a monthly products video. If you guys are, like, or not a monthly one, a weekly one, or um, every other week which is not bi-weekly, that would be twice a week, I don't know, you guys know what I'm trying to say. I just think like that could be cool and I can just do it as like I'm getting ready or you know in the afternoon, whatever. Um, just if you guys are okay with seeing that. Um, so I guess I just will start this off, I just put this on the Chanel Vidal Lumiere Aqua which is, I mean this is probably the last time I'm going to get to use this for a long time because this does have like a high alcohol content and it's mainly made for oilier skin um, and since my skin's going to be getting dry and I definitely don't want to put alcohol on it or anything that is made for like you know more oily skins this is basically the last time I get to wear this for a while um, and I put this on with the Eco Tools foundation brush which I purchased yesterday um, this one which is by BYS which is an Australian brand um, is my favorite it's a lot larger and I have not found anything similar to this the MAC 190 is more or less closer to this than this and so this one's thick and kind of fluffy I haven't found one similar so I'm gonna have to find one because it's my favorite foundation brush ever um, I just love it so much and um, yeah and then what I picked up yesterday as well um, let me go grab it actually I'll show you guys just do a little haul for you okay I bought this yesterday the Lady Gaga Fame perfume um, I sprayed it on my so ooh I sprayed it on myself yesterday and what I'm smelling like on my arm now is like the apricot that's what I really smell but um it's sort of like at first I sprayed it, I was like oh my god this smells like a grandma just gra drank grape soda that's what it smelled like but it sort of grew on me and it like it got better throughout the day and I think that's what a, f a fragrance should do and it lasted a long time so it's like the black eau de parfum or is it an eau de toilette no it's an eau de parfum the only thing is like the lid is plastic the, gla the bottle is glass, but the lid is plastic. So, I don't know. I like the packaging. I think it smells good, and it does get better throughout the day. So, that's pretty cool. And then I redeemed my points at Sephora for the 500 perk. Let me get the box. Oh, this is what the little box looks like. It's a Dior. Um, it's got the Dior Addict, I guess, whatever is what it's called. The Dior Addict. Thing, the gift bag box whatever it came with two perfumes um, Dior Addict Eau Sensuelle so the box is like holographic it's pretty cool and then Dior Addict Eau Fresh and then a little Dior Addict lipstick in 578 Dior Kiss which this color is really nice I put this on yesterday it looks really nice uh, and then it also came with this this is, are you ready? This is going to make you laugh. A ribbon charm bracelet, which sounds really cute, right? Am I 12? A little star that says Dior. I'll probably attach this to my keys or something, because it's cute, but like, come on, Dior. Come on. You ain't fooling nobody. This is for a 12-year-old. I haven't tried on the perfumes yet, but I did put the lipstick on yesterday. Um, so that's kind of... The little bottles are really cute. They look just like the big ones. I think it's... Look. Isn't that cute? So they put a lot of thought into it, a lot of effort, and... It's a good 500 point reward, because usually they suck. Um, and I mentioned this in the Accutane video, but I purchased this to the lip moisturizer, the Norwegian formula lip moisturizer from uh, Neutrogena. Um, so there's that. Let's hope that that works. 
Um, I bought this from Sephora, which is why I redeem my points, because I got a couple foundation samples to try for my skin gets drier. Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer in Nude, and then Dior Skin Nude in number 21 Linen. But I didn't buy anything. I almost bought um, one of the like NARS Andy Warhol things or um, another hourglass concealer, but I wanted to see how my skin at was acting first, so I had to buy this because I didn't want to just walk in and get samples and leave because I wanted to redeem my points. But it's a Sensize makeup remover from Makeup Forever, and this is really good. Um, I have a smaller one that I think I paid the same amount for that I keep in my kit, but I'm just going to keep this one for myself. Um, $10, and it works really well. Um, they gave me, oh, from Ulta, they gave me this Beard Lube Conditioning Shave from Jack Black, which is nice, I guess. Um, but what I really wanted to talk to you guys about is this beautiful, wonderful product. Um, it's from Maybelline, it's the Define a Brow, um, and it's in medium brown. Let me show you guys how perfect this looks on my eyebrows. So. I have a little spoolie. I put this on yesterday. I was like, li literally, I just died because it was the best brow product I've ever. Like instantly, I was just like, how? Where has this been all my life? I don't ever do my brows, but this makes me want to, because um, I can really see the difference. So it's a really thin pencil, like the Mac Eyebrows or the Clinique Easy Brows or whatever they're called. Um, it was either this or the All May one, but this one they didn't have my shade in the All May one. So, so, I'm just feathering this through. I've already brushed my brow hairs up. And then when you brush them over, I just think it looks so good. Because it's not too heavy and it's not too dark. Because anytime I would put brow products on, they would just make me look like Groucho Marx. But this one is really light and feathery, and it doesn't look like I'm really wearing anything. It just looks like my brows are naturally enhanced. And I've noticed that since wearing my glasses, if I do my brows, it doesn't look as heavy, and it just works to um, balance out the heaviness in my brows. But, I mean, I think this looks really nice. I'm really pleased with it. It was only about 5 or $6, I believe, too. So that's exciting. Um, I bought this too, the Essence Gel Liner. This is so good. I was using it yesterday to do some really nice winged liner. Looks really good. I bought this too, the Essence Eyeliner Pen. Um, yeah, I just bought a couple like eyelining things because I did winged liner the other night when I went out and it looked really good. Um, and I was surprised because I really don't like doing eyeliner. So I figured I would play with it and see where it goes. Like, I've been loving the Almay foundation still. It's just, it's so good. Um, um, I hope you guys have a good day. I hope um, you enjoyed this video. And I will talk to everybody later. Bye, guys.